Hey everybody, welcome to another episode from Holsingersflyshop.com. I'm your host, Sean Holsinger. Today I'm bringing you a fly that is a summertime staple here in my area. It's a tan caddis. Um, when summertime rolls around, the weather gets a little bit warmer. Caddises are everywhere in our area, especially the tan caddis. And what I like to do is dry dropper fish a lot that time of year. I will use a tan caddis of some sort and put a zebra midge under it. And zebra midge is a great um, black fly larva imitation, which there is a lot of on some of our streams in my area, one in particular. But um, it's kind of a go-to for me is to have a caddis with a zebra midge underneath it. Today I'm going to share you share with you a pattern that's very simple to tie, very quick to tie, and I think you're going to like. Um, you know, I always like to hammer things out as quickly as I can. I have a guide trip coming up this weekend, two of them. We're going to be fishing on that stream I was talking about with lots of black fly larvae, and I tied up a whole bunch of these to be prepared for the trip. So um, let's get into talking, sorry, let's quit talking about it, get into tying it, and uh, here you're going to see it in the vise and then the material list to tie it. All right, guys, here you see the quick caddis and the vise. This one's really easy caddis to tie, hence the name quick caddis. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a fire hole 317. Um, this is size 16. For thread, I'm using some 140 denier brown. And I'm just going to get it started on here, wrap it back over itself to lock it into place, and then you can cut your tag off. Next thing we're going to use is some Semperfly Dry Fly Poly Yarn. This is Golden Olive Keller, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up here about an eye or two length behind the eye, and I'm going to wrap it back to about where the barb would be if it was a barbed hook, and then wrap it back forward. And that's just going to add just a little bit of body to this, just to build it up a little bit. The thing I love about this is it's like having dubbed thread and you can just make a nice perfect perfect body with this stuff it's awesome to use so we're going to wrap it back up to that tie off tie in point i guess you'd say and then i'm going to make a couple wraps tied in place now next thing is i'm going to make a little underwing on this fly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull it back and i'm going to cut it about right where the bend of the hook is and then i'm going to take a brush and what I like to do is put my finger on the hook and brush it out using my finger. And you can see there that spreads those fibers out on that really nice. And it's going to make a nice underwing. So you could use EP fibers or something, but this will do the same job. And then I'm just going to wrap that back a couple wraps, putting it back over the bend of the hook there to make that underwing. Now this is a little bit long, so I'm going to trim them off, keeping them on top, make sure I pull them to keep it on top there. Next thing I'm going to use is some deer hair. This is spinning deer natural, it's natural mule deer. And I'm going to put it in my hair stacker and stack those ends all up together. Once I get them stacked up together, we're just going to pull them out. And you can see I have a pretty big bunch here. But uh, we're just going to lay them on top, lay it right over the top of that underwing. And like I said, I got a pretty big bunch to start, you can see. But the reason is, is I want this to work for a dry dropper. So what I do is wrap one time, as you saw there, one time around, around the fibers. And then I'm going to wrap around the hook. So I pull down on top of that hook. This helps keep it, the wraps on top. And then I'm going to wrap through, through the hair there. Once I wrap through the hair, then I'm going to pinch all these hair fibers, pull them backwards, and wrap behind the eye. And this is where we're going to build our head, and we're going to tie it off. So just put a nice whip finish up here, tie that off, and now we just have to 
bunch up all these long strands here, get them out front, pull them out front like that, and then I take lay my scissors on top of the eye and slice it back level with the wing, and it just makes a nice little head there, which is a little bit bigger than I want. So I'm going to trim them down, and there you see a couple stragglers. But there you see very nice looking fly. Simple to tie. Didn't take me but two minutes, three minutes there while I was talking. And uh, you got a nice floating fly. With some floatant in there, that thing's going to stay up. That's why I use extra. If you're not planning on using it as a dropper, don't put so much deer hair in there and you'll be fine. Alright guys, I hope you liked that pattern. Like I said, it was a very quick and easy one. Like two and a half minutes I think I can tie one of these. Um, hammer them out. That Semperfly material, the dry fly poly yarn, the stuff is awesome. I can't say enough about it because it just makes such a quick body. Use it for nymphs and uh, wet flies, anything you want to use it for, it works great. And then you can even brush it out like that and make the underwing on a fly or a spinner. Great for spinners if you, you know, want to put spinner wings out. Uh, great option for that. So uh, have fun. Mess around with this stuff. See what you can come up with. Um, like I said in the video, I'm using this. I want a dry dropper. I dry dropper fish a lot. So I go a little bit heavy on my deer hair to put a lot more floating in so it's gonna have it's gonna keep it up on top a lot more. If you're not gonna use it as a dry dropper and you're just gonna use this as imitative, definitely downsize the amount of deer hair on there. Uh, I'll, I will tie some with smaller deer hair amounts um, just to be more imitative. I'm definitely trying to catch trout on this fly. That's why I'm tying it in a size 16. If I'm just using it as a caddis to be an indicator, then I'm going to tie it in like a 12 or a 14 and go heavy on it. Uh, you know, I'll use a lot of my dry dropper caddis. I use that a lot in the springtime, early spring. But now summer's here. We're downsizing on everything. Go smaller on it. Go smaller on the deer hair, especially if you're not using it for a dry dropper. So, guys, I hope you like this video. If you're interested in a guide trip or me tying some flies for you, please reach out to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. And uh, any of the material you need for this, like that dry fly poly yarn, we have it in a couple colors. You can find it at the shop at wholesingersflyshop.com. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.